you found uh, uh, something related to abortion oh. contained within the diaries that gave you insight into Barbara Bush, her position on that issue, and more broadly how she regarded kind of the, the world. T talk a little bit about that. So I was going through these, these voluminous diaries, and yeah. I opened up the diary from 1980, which is the year that George Bush makes his first bid for the yeah. Republican nomination. And I opened the diary, and tucked into the diary are four sheets of lined paper, folded over, yellowing. I pull them out and open them up, and at the top of the first page it says, Thoughts About Abortion. And she knew that her, uh, she knew she, with her husband running for president, she would be asked about the issue of abortion. And she was trying to figure out in this letter to herself what she thought. Yeah. And one of the extraordinary things that I think would surprise skeptical voters is that there was not a hint of what is politically convenient yep. to say about abortion. Right. This was her wrestling with the morality of abortion. And in it, in the, in the key passage, she says, I remember the moment Robin was born, the instant she was born, and I felt her soul enter her body. And I remember the moment that Robin died, and I felt her soul leave her body. And if the soul enters your body the instant that you're born, then abortion isn't murder. And it should be an issue between mothers and fathers and doctors and not a presidential issue. Extraordinary. Uh, and you can agree. You would not have, no one has seen this, these, no, these pages, no ever, right? You no. know, I don't think anyone had ever seen this yeah. except her. Yeah. And you can agree or disagree that with the conclusion she came to. Yeah. But you have to respect the way she wrestled with it as a, as a moral issue. And yeah. because she had done that, her view on abortion never changed. 